Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die Alpha 21. This is the Apocalypse Ranger series, and I am an old guy gaming, and we are at what's probably going to be our permanent uh, forward operating base. So this is Ranger Station Echo. And if you didn't already know this, Ranger Station Echo is actually the newer version of the ranger station that has pretty much almost been in the game from the start. Um, it used to just be that building there. And, um, you know, pretty much just by itself <clears throat> and a much, you know, simpler version of that building. Uh, but now it's, you know, in a station with a lot of other buildings and I just like this station better than most of the other ones. I really liked the golf a lot too, but I couldn't find a ranger station golf that was, you know, in a fairly centralized location. So if you look at where we are here, we are, we're just a little bit north of the center of the map, uh, north and south wise. We're a little bit more to the west than we are to the east. Well, a fair a bit more to the west than the east, but the thing is, is we're really close to the two major cities on the map, which we will be... Oh! Is there a trader wrecked there? There is! Oh, look at that! That is fantastic news! I didn't even realize that until I was just looking at the map. That's really good news, because we can we got tier 5s from him, and he's in the city. Oh, fantastic! Uh, I had, you know, I had ridden right by him in the last episode, and I just didn't realize he was there until it showed up. Okay, that's great. Super good news. Um, in fact, we might even cancel this fetch and clear and just start taking it from this one. But we do we do have to go back to our original place and get all of our stuff, though. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, um, yeah, so this is the original uh, but new and improved version of the ranger station that's been in the game all the time. So it has a little bit of nostalgia for me from that standpoint, even though it's not really hardly anything like it used to be. Um, so I think this is going to be our, our permanent forward operating base uh, for the rest of this series. Now that doesn't mean we're still not going to go out and fix up other stations. Uh, that, that is still my plan to do that, but you know, we just have too much stuff, uh, you know, to, to not have a, some home base. And so that's the plan. Uh, at least for now, um, always reserve the right to change my mind. You know, um, the, the, the other place that I was thinking of strongly thinking of was Fort Camo. Uh, we have done Fort Camo once. And the thing that I like about it is it's got a really nice underground, you know, bunker facility, but so, you know, I mean, that's still a possibility too, I suppose. And as far as the headquarters that the brass <laughs> that Alpha 6 and all those guys are going to move into, um, the plan for that is we're going to, I think right at the end of this road, right about here-ish, there is the Army Barracks, which is the original, um, you know, big Army station that has the Quonset Huts. It's got the garage. It's got the bunkhouses. Um, it's got the big building with the radio tower, that sort of thing. And I think it's called army post number seven or something like that. And that's the place we're going to clear and fix up. And then we're, the, we're, we're going to bring the NPCs in, in a, in a future episode. At least, at least that's a plan right now. Okay. Anyways, let's, uh, let me get going here and quit all this yakking and get some action going. So there's not really anything in here for us to to loot or do that door's locked so let's figure out where it wants us to start it looks like probably here and we'll just move through this place and get it cleared first and then take a closer look at it and see how we're going to set things up there's probably a zombie right inside this cabinet right here why don't we put these on then we can truly be sneaky sneak What we'll do is let's get 
right in the front. The hell? Okay. <laughs> we want to... We want minimal damage to the place because this is our new home. As, you know, as much as possible anyways. Got some shelves here. Things like these tires and maybe even the gas barrels, if they if they l l fit with the decor and they're not, you know, trashy looking, then we might just leave that stuff in place. Um, you know, because it adds flavor to the to the whole deal. Oh, we're already out of inventory space. We're good to six. Okay, I'm gonna drop a few things off in the bike here. Actually, if this is going to be our home base, we, might as well, we should just do a drop chest. Now that I think about it. And resource types of items. Stuff that we don't have to take back with us, we should just leave here. So why don't we just set up a drop... For Pete's sake. A drop chest in here temporarily. Uh, I'm not really sure what the layout is going to be uh, for us here, so we'll figure that out later, but right now we'll just do a, a basic drop chest. Go away, ball. I told you to go away. You didn't listen. Just stick that up there. That's right. We got another water purifier. That's cool. We already have one, though. Okay. None of that stuff is really searchable. So we'll just leave those in there. And of course, we can always make another drop chest. Uh, drop chest too, if we need to. Words. That farm truck will probably end up scrapping, and maybe and we might actually use this as an actual garage. Okay, let's go this way. Who the hell's here? I don't want these guys. Beating the shit out of the place. Knock it off. Okay. little cabin place. Ooh, I like those double doors, like French doors. Yeah, we could fix this place up and make it look really nice in here. Okay, let's check the book cases. Bows. We can now make compound bow quality four. Knife guy. That's it? Okay. This is only a tier two place. I would think it would be a, a larger tier. Fuck 
Okay, probably somebody gonna be in that closet over there. Oh shit! Dude, you scared me. You're supposed to be in the closet. Not in the hall. Oh, we got some points. Good, our closet door stayed intact. Uh, you know what? I might just leave that in there. If this ends up being our kitchen. We'll have to replace the all that stuff, though. So unfortunately, once you open this... Actually, if you open this and put something in it... It stays intact. Interesting. Okay. We just have, we would just have to make sure we never emptied it completely out. Because then it switches to the opened version, which doesn't work anymore. Put that in there too. Just scrap this. Bathroom with some books. Bathroom reading. Oh shit. Where's that coming from? Don't wreck my house. Bitches. That's you. I'm talking to you. You. And you too. Okay. They came out of there. Oh man, they gave us a... Whose was it? An abrasion. Look at that ammo pile. Okay, up and go. Got it. Is this a thing? No. Close pile. Those are plus three luckies. So we will be selling them, but I want the black paint or dye. Let's just dye our boots next, I guess. Eventually I'm gonna make all my clothing black because then it just blends in with the whole stealth type thing. I wish we had um like green camo we could use instead, but I guess that's the way it works. That's probably where that outside zombie was hitting. So let's repair that. Those trunks are not lootable. Maybe we'll leave the wood there because it looks cool. Okay, open the door. That opened out the, the door out there too. Uh, I was going to do one other thing. What was it? I don't remember now. Okay, well, let's proceed. Let's make sure our weapons are loaded, too. How about that? I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. We need to start using our shotgun more. Oh, I know what I was going to do. We got points. Uh, all right, I've been focusing on strength. And I've uh, I put, I did put another point into salvage ops. Uh, eventually, we'll put points into dead eye, but been focusing on 69er and mother load because of all the mining and stuff that I have been doing and have yet to do. So we have an effective five, which means we can go 69er four and mother load four, and we shall do that. I'll work on getting boomstick up later. Right now, I want to really get those resource, the resource gathering maxed out. Okay, so that takes care of that house. That's a neat little house. I mean, we could do some fun stuff with that if we decide to live in that part of the base. Uh, dog? Shit. Okay. I'm going to see a dog. Does it mean he's not around? Okay. 
Okay, well, let's keep going this way. I'm going to actually... Let's grab this pickup truck and this duffel bag next. Vehicles! Blackstrap! Nice! We were looking... We were talking about that in the last episode. Okay, cool. That's, uh, worth fixing up and selling, I think. Because, um, if we scrap it, we we'll probably just get one... Yeah, one part. And I think the parts are... Eh, it's gonna be borderline. Yeah, you know what? Let's just scrap it. So that's 44. Fixing that up would have been... It probably would have been a little bit more, but almost not enough to waste a, a uh, repair kit on. There are two dog houses out here. It's making me a little nervous. Where are the dogs? They're going to pop up when we least expect them to. They're usually lying right down next to the dog house. NF-73, Navisgain Forest, Station 73, maybe? Since we're going around the outside, let's go around the outside. There's a deer. Okay. Lunch. Doors locked. Alright. I can't jump over there, there's barbed wire. Trying to get a running jump here. Whoa! Alright, let's just do this. This gate's gonna have to be replaced anyway. Quit beating on stuff, Ronnie McDonnie. Gotta fix this place up. I don't need you making it making it into a mess. Oh, out of space. Let's see, our drop chest is... Where did we put our drop chest? Right inside of this door, was it? No. Wait a minute. Oh, did I put it... I put it in here, right? Yes, okay. It's uh, daytime, so... We can put, uh, let's put the luckies back on. No, do not throw our knife away. Is there a button to open that thing? Hmm, if there is, I'm not seeing it. Okay. That's gotta go. All right, check this place out next. Nobody in the porta potty. Got a working generator. Big one too. Too bad it wasn't something we could actually use. Thank you. 
purse. Ooh. We've got our, yeah, we've got our luckies on. That's pretty decent stuff. gross <laughs> the Zeke right there You know, I really like the look of these shelves with the stuff on it. It's too bad. Uh... Oh, yeah, actually. If we just leave that in there, it'll stay with that look. Should have put something in that, o that other shelf, too, but oh well. Where is my axe? Let's read these. down here for the, for now someone in those closets perhaps or and or on the other side of here uh oh Whew. now that guy scares me not gonna lie. But we got lucky with a headshot. I was just about ready to pull out the SMG. Okay, I guess that's it for up here. Ooh, some uh, real life thunder just crashed outside. Oh, birds. I heard them flapping before I saw them. I don't know if you guys can hear that thunder on the through my mic, but uh, yeah, there's thunder outside. This is cool to see this place reimagined, you know? It looks to me like it's bigger too than it used to be. Just checking on along the outside first here. Anything up here? Attic. He probably was going to jump down through the ceiling on our noggin. Okay, I think I saw a, an open window over here. It's a safe. There was always a gun safe in this POI. Let's see what's inside of here.
Oh man, you bastard. Handgun magazine and some other pretty decent stuff. You've unlocked handguns and SMG5 quality three. Okay, two more to go and then we'll be able to make our own blue SMGs, which will be nice. Okay, down we go. Nobody in here. No room for that. No room for that. No room for that. I'll get all that stuff later. Ooh, that's bad news. All right, you get Magnum, dude. I do have a rad remover on here. Oh, I don't. That's right. We kept the DPS up enough to take him out anyway. Down into the basement. Look at all that stuff. Nice. Okay, we'll get that later. See, the thing I like about this place is there's lots of room. All right, come say hi to Papa. Y'all dead? I think so. that door no room okay let's see what's in these crates but uh, I'm gonna have to go do a drop off before we can loot them all fisticuffs Knuckle wraps, quality five. Steel tools, quality three. Okay. Oh, that little lantern's kind of cool looking. All right, we got our luckies on, right? Yeah, we do. Okay, let's see what's in the fat loots. Nice triple pocket armor mod and some other stuff. All right, guys, so that concludes the clearing of Ranger Station Echo. Man, I wish there was a way we could open this frickin' door. Um, most of these doors have a, a switch somewhere, but I'm not seeing it for this one. Hey, get out of here. This is my place now. Um, I think if I break that, I should be able to, I should be able to replace it with an, with an actual working door. Um, if nothing else, we'll just put, you know, one of the, the roll up doors there. So I kind of like the garage door. How tough is this? Yeah, 30,000. Oh my goodness. Really? I, I probably would spawn in the admin tool and, to break that. That's ridiculous. 30,000. There's no way that door should be 30,000. Anyway, I'll, I'll worry about that later. But I am not seeing a switch in here. So 
Um, all right. Well, so I guess the next step now is for, uh, for me to start moving here, uh, which is largely, if not entirely going to take place off of camera. Um, we do have a horde night in two nights, so I'm probably, I probably won't do any major, uh, moving here until after the horde night. And then as soon as the horde night's over, then we will move here in earnest. Um, so in the meantime, so we got two more days left. I'm, I'm probably just going to keep mining my butt off back in our original town and, you know, making steel like there's no tomorrow uh, so that we can get that horde. I'm going to try that horde base again, um, you know, so that we can get it uh, fully steeled up. So, and, you know, the thing about that base is it, the XP is just insane. You know, I don't know how many levels we got the last time we tried it. So even if I do end up getting killed later on in the night, <laughs> if we get like six or seven levels of XP, it'll be worth it. Uh, not that I want to get killed, of course, but, you know, um, yeah. All right. Before we wrap this episode up, I think we have a probably have just a tiny li little more time. Let's go ahead and actually do this uh, treasure map. And uh, I'm going to. Jeez. Oh, I'm probably going to completely redo the walls in this place, too, to concrete walls. Hey, where are you going? Just hamstring you. Um, yeah. Uh, so, anyway, I'm going to put a, a few things in here that we don't really absolutely need to take back with this, but we can turn that into a bandage. Though we don't really need to do this, let's swap out this double pocket mod for this triple. And we'll just keep that there and sell it at some point. Okay, so all of this stuff I'm going to keep here. I, I don't see any immediate reason for us to bring it back to the old base. So I'll just deal with it, uh, you know, later. Um, I suppose we could take these and just sell them. And uh, this is the stuff I'm going to bring back with me. So I'll see you guys over at the treasure and then we'll wrap things up. Yeah, not the best stuff in the world. Uh, I definitely want the weighted head mod. So what are we going to get rid of? I want to come back down here. Here, we don't need the bullet tips. Um, those are probably worth taking instead of 88 gunpowder. Yeah, good enough. All right, you guys, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Yeah, up, 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 up. <laughs> really? With my parkour, I can't get out of there. There we go. Um, And uh, so in the next episode, I'm not sure what we'll do. Um, I might even, maybe... We do have a tier five, but it's day 47. Yeah, I don't know. If I feel like I'm really making good progress uh, in preparing for Horde 49, we might do that tier five in the next episode. Problem with tier fives, though, is it's very, very difficult for me, anyways, to do a tier five in a single episode. Um, not that that matters, I suppose, in terms of the in game timing. Um, but I'd have to, I guess I, what I'm trying to say is I'd have to feel like 
we were ready to go with the horde base and I would have enough time to do the tier five and then get back to, you know, get back to the horde base before horde night. So that could happen or I might not bring you back at all until horde 49 and I'm just going to gather resources and maybe get started with at least part of the move uh, to our new location. We'll see. Uh, at any rate, that is it for this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.